Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Happy Monday. I'm Bonnie Bully. Halala, shine. It's a Monday. It's a brand new week. <laughs> and we're super stoked. You look fabulous today. Well Thank done. Thank you. This How was your nice weekend? Look. It was you. so cool. I mean, it's the first weekend that I ever think I've been glad to hear the words heat stroke because it wasn't me. <laughs> it was my gym trainer and he cancelled gym this morning. So I'm in a great mood You're today. in a great mood, yes. yeah. Didn't have to kill myself. Speaking of my outfit, by the way, it's Style by SA from Woolies. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite designers. Yeah. So biggest new... Well... Yeah, What's biggest, the biggest news, news from this weekend, besides obviously all of us having a good time, was the 69th Emmy Awards. Big Little Lies and The Handmaiden's Tale walked away with an epic five wins, and it was all the talk on social media. I saw those tweets of yours. I'm a Big Little Lie fan. Mm -hmm. Plus, historically, Lena Waite from Master of None became the first black female to win Best Writing for a comedy series. Shine. How epic is How that? Amazing. It's about damn yeah. time because yeah. it's taken so long to get to that point. And I think yeah. it's really, really cool to see this happening. Absolutely. That's awesome. Now listen, Donald Glover has also made history as the first black person to win an Emmy for directing a comedy show too. So yes. we're really seeing some change. And like I said, it's about time. Yeah, yeah, the industry is changing. It's a brand new week and what a show we have lined up for you today. Now, mid-September marks the start of the month of Pertasi. It's a Hindu month of fasting and for followers, it means only eating vegetable-based food for one month. So in celebration, we've got vegan expert Luzette back in the loft to make us a vegan version of a butter chicken. Yummy. That's going to be absolutely epic. Plus, in the next installment of our Petley series, we're joined by Chef James Dyack, who's got a dish inspired by his furry friend, Roxy. But today's show is all about the new season of Tropica Island of Treasure. So head over to our social media accounts and join the conversation. We're asking from Mini's gorgeous island style to Team Unger's controversial win, which <laughs> Which part of hashtag TIOT7 was your favorite? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat or comment on the Facebook page and remember to use that all important hashtag Afternoon Express. Now, in case you've been living under the rock, the new season of Tropica Island of Treasure has been announced. This time, it's set on the magnificent Maldives. Along with a brand new list of celebrity contestants, the man at the front of it all as host is Expresso Morning Show SAFTA award winning presenter and one of our favorite visitors to the Afternoon Express loft, Katlejo Mabue. To get ready, you. and while you do that, I'm going to join my friends at the Christmas table, and we're going to get ready to see you perform. Thank Thanks you very so much. much. See you Thank in a second. You. Where? Where are we? <laughs> Go, cat! Well done, buddy. Fuck you, little bit. You gotta do the tongue. You gotta yeah. do the tongue. Oh, come on, you go, you go, Oh my word! So I'm um, out of the kitchen into the furnace, so to speak. The floor is ablaze. <laughs> the dance floor. I tell you right now, yes. the floor is ablaze. Which is why it's in the studio, and we're about to get down like never before. As uh -huh. we go, 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 go. go. Asam, 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 bete bete. Hey, so how am I? Please look after our couches, Katlejo. Come on. Can let us dance open up and then I just jump in there right now. Where are you getting that energy at that time of the morning? It's the excitement of the breakfast show and it's seeing that the cool, team. That adrenaline. It's, yeah, yeah, and being able to be South Africa's alarm clock in the morning and give them an impression of what their day could turn out like. You want to infuse positivity into people's lives yeah. and if you have to make yourself look silly at some point while you're having fun doing it. Absolutely. And after so many years, is it still feeling that fresh, that exciting? Absolutely. Every single morning That's we still awesome. love it. The team has grown. We have, uh, you know, become a family essentially. Yeah. And and uh, you, you look forward to waking up and seeing the faces of your co-presenters yeah, yeah. every single day. So that's what makes it so much fun still. Well, we, yeah, we love your energy. Obviously, we brought you onto the show a while ago and a yeah. lot's happened since then. But before we catch up on all the new things, I thought it's good for us to kind of have a quick look back at uh, something that particularly happened last time you were on our couch. It was a little performance you did for us that oh, you know, we want to ask you about word. now. Let's take a look. Uh, I want to give you some love. I wanna give you some good, good loving. I said, oh I, oh I, oh I. Mm. 
But I, I wanna give you some good, good loving. <laughs> I was having a great time there. Dan's loving it. He's gushing. <laughs> he's he's like, the, yeah. The head bopping going. Yeah, the yeah. beat is yeah. within. The reason I had to bring this clip up for you, Kat, especially on a Monday, especially in this scenario. Yeah. Is there somebody you've managed to sing that song to of late? Is there somebody yeah. special in your life? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan, and how often do you sing you, to her? You don't you stalk me enough, do you? Oh, yes. I found it. I found it. Your team Ooh. is expert in this field. Yeah, she's a very, very special lady in my life. Monique Headbab. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I try and, and sing for her as often as I can, but I'm, I'm more often em embarrassed because uh, I, like, I really want to be good, you know, when I mm. sing for her. She's a, a big fan of Jay Something. And uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a, a lofty goal to reach <laughs> when it comes to singing to your girlfriend. But I, you know, she, she yeah. enjoys my singing. She's had the chance to come and see me perform. Yeah at a couple of the events that I've uh, emceed and performed yeah. at. And, and she's always like, oh my God, you're but amazing. But how's she coping but with obviously you being in the, in the limelight so often and doing all these different gigs that you know that have you always at the center of attention? Like how, how, do, how is it holding a relationship down? Yeah, the road? when girls are just basically rolling themselves onto the floor by, at your feet. She's the most gracious person she's when gracious. it comes to that. Like, uh, you know, we'd be walking uh, in the mall, doing some shopping, and then somebody would sometimes even <laughs> rudely, yeah, and even rudely just come over and want to ask to take a photo. Or push her uh, out without, of the way. That girls kind of thing. Yeah. And then, you know, she just kind of woosas <laughs> in there and stands by. Mm. Um, but yeah, she's, she's absolutely amazing. Oh, that's incredible. So tell us about this <coughs> thing where you jump up in the air and uh, you're basically expanded <laughs> in the air. It's like a superpower of yours. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, I, I saw this and I was you're like, crazy. what? crazy. This is, you know what? Because every single morning we, we take pictures on the show, right? To yeah. kind of show off, show off our outfits and what we're wearing. I thought I need to focus. Oh, that was a weird one. That angle. Ooh, yeah. Close your legs. I want to know how that landed. Close your yeah. legs. Um, I just wanted to find a more creative way of showing off the photos, and I just thought maybe it's all in my face instead of just doing a smile. How are you, how are you doing this? Just, uh, it's all just a very synchronized process with the photographer and getting the timing right. And then, most importantly, as you can see, it's all in the face. Your face has to say nothing while I'm your sure, body yeah. says oh, everything. everything. It's like you can't show strain, especially here and go, Ugh! then that defeats the purpose. Uh, that one like not so strange. Strange. Yeah, but it looks yeah. like so you're much. really high up off the ground. Exactly. It actually looks like somebody just put you there in the air, yeah. left you there, and then took the photo. So you, you take about a hundred photos mm. before you get the one that's not blurry, that has the right kind of features all, yeah. of, all around. Mm. And uh, yeah, this was on my recent trip to New York with the Empire State Building in the back on Fifth Avenue there. That was just Stunning. insane being able Said to do Masai that. Said bladder new. <laughs> <laughs> the most recent news that we know about you since obviously that catch up was the reason why I'm wearing this uh, bright orange little outfit here. Because when uh, a nominee for like stylish man pops up onto your couch, you really have to do your best to make sure that you, you know, look your look look your. But look you kill it every day, man, and so do you, Bon. You guys are always looking amazing. Yeah, I think. Congratulations! Thanks to, nomination. Thank we you try, so much. We try. And congratulations. congratulations on your nominations. Brilliant thanks. work, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is all thanks to the the styling team uh, on Expresso and the various uh, other brands that I've had the privilege to be involved with over the years Absolutely. that have kind of built up my style and my wardrobe and uh, my love for suits, my ridiculous love for suits. For I have suits, way yeah. too many of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's an honor to be nominated among the most stylish gents in the country. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully there are people out there that like my style that will give me the thumbs yeah, up and a vote. A lot of people love your style. I've got sneaker envy right now because this is like <laughs> Cape, Western Cape uniform. We basically <laughs> Western Cape Once uniform. Once again, thanks, babe. It was uh, a present from ooh. her like last week. Yeah, she knows like, you. She knows you. She's got taste. She's got great taste. She understands. Wow. Well, you're not going away. We're going to chat about big, bold moves on the career scene with you. Yeah, looking forward to the new awesome. adventure coming up soon. Wonderful. Yeah. So we've got much more to come from Kat later in the show. And he's also got a little Tropic Island of Treasure inspired surprise lined up. And make sure that you interact with us also on social media. And today we're asking from Minnie's gorgeous island style to hashtag Team Anger's controversial win, which part of... Tropical Island of Treasure was your favorite. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat or comment on our Facebook post. After the break, though, we're in the kitchen and guest chef Leo is putting a vegan spin on a butter chicken. Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3 with us. On Fridays, it's a winner home on Afternoon Express, proudly brought to you by Private Property. Follow the journey of three competing design duos as they decorate three homes, one room at a time. You stand a chance of winning your choice of one of the three completed homes at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate, decorated by the design contestants, in our grand prize competition. The decorated home boasts finishes by Plascon and Caesar Stone, as well as premier appliances by Grinding and is worth 3 million rand. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. You're also automatically entered into the bi-weekly giveaway where the latest prize is a Gruer Eurocube sink mixer professional valued at over 12,000 rand. Visit privateproperty.co.za and enter now. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favourite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favourite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize, your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grinding with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. Celebrate local design in one of Joburg's most sought-after lifestyles at the Eye of Africa Heritage Day Festival. On Sunday, the 24th of September from 10 a.m., this prestigious estate in the south of Johannesburg welcomes all to enjoy food and craft stalls, plus loads of fun for the whole family. Plus, our amazing design duos will be on site in our three winner home units that will be open to view, so you can get your selfie with your favorite design duo and their hairstyles and get a taste of what awaits you as the grand prize winner. Visit eyeofafrica.co.za for ticket information and come enjoy a marvellous day out. It sounds absolutely epic and something else that I love so much is always exploring new types of food and looking to be better and healthier when it comes to your eating habits. As well. Always welcome Leo Zet into the building. And also in the spirit of the Hindi festival of Purtasi, a month-long festival during which devotees observe a fast which entails eating only vegetables, Leo Zet will be preparing a delicious vegan and vegetarian butter chicken. That is true. We're going plant-based for Purtasi because during the month of Purtasi from the 17th to the 17th, they only eat vegetable food. Okay, and we're trying on the show just one change. Just imagine what one change can do for your diet. And we're trying to change one thing in the kitchen today. And I deserve a high five from you. Yeah. This morning I had, uh, I had what is it, spinach, pawpaw, and some other kind of oats mm. as my breakfast. That's, well done, well done. So well no done. meat today So yet. Green Monday for you today. So yes. far so good. Good stuff. I'm going to show you what to do for lunch or maybe for dinner. Let's do it. And we're doing it with corn today. Cool. So corn is a delicious um, meat-free alternative um, that you can use in your wraps, in your pastas, in your stews, and today Leo, in yeah. your curries. We're sold already. Let's get going. Okay. So in here, we are marinating our fillet pieces. You can do this vegetarian or vegan. If you're doing vegetarian, we're using the chicken-style fillets. If you're doing it vegan, you are using the celery pieces. Okay. So vegetarian Stunning. fillets, vegan celery gotcha. pieces. So in here, coconut oil, garam masala, a um, little bit of lemon juice, I think salt you mean coconut pepper. cream, right? Because coconut oil won't, oh, I don't sorry. think it will mix right. Coconut oh, gosh. cream. Coconut Imagine, cream. <laughs> you, it's a very oily substance. <laughs> no, coconut cream, you can see the nice creamy texture um, with some garlic and some ginger and that's just going to sit and marinate. Cool. So let's do the actual While we cooking. Do that, we have our onions in here and as always with all my recipes, we add our ginger and our garlic. If you can pass the garlic for me, sure. please. Chuck that in there. That can go inside. You're going to have to scoop it out yeah, for me. There we there go. We Scooping go. it out. Got it. And just flavoring it. And as soon as it starts to sizzle, like now, then we add all of our spices. So we've got garam masala. You can chuck in. That I can chuck in for you. Cumin. Gotcha. Paprika. Mm -hmm, that's and, a little bit of the bite. Yes. And turmeric. 
Turmeric. Yes, and now we're just going to stir it to coat all the onions to give it a nice little flavour. That is delicious. Oh, you can smell the, the flavours coming through. Sing. I love Indian food. Oh <laughs> Me my gosh. too. I, I was in India when I was in my grade 11 year at high school and it was one of the most incredible culinary experiences for me. It was, it was great. And obviously we're trying to uh, take meat out of our, our dishes on a Monday. And so yes. speaking as we're taking meats out of Monday, the other word that comes from meat is eat. That's a great way to remember how to get all the details for this recipe on your mobile device. Mm -hmm. You SMS that word eat to double three six five zero at a cost of 150 and those free SMSs don't apply. All the details will be sent to you via SMS. Tomatoes, please. All right, so these are chopped tomatoes. Yeah, six stop tomatoes, pop them in there. Oopsie, a little splatter. And Good our tomato fun. paste. Cool, tomato paste for you. Yeah, thank you. A little you can bit scoop lower. that in. There 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 more, anyway, plopping. Yeah, let's not mess up <laughs> that nice designer jacket you have on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we're just cool. going to give this a good stir. Now you have to simmer this for about 20 to 30 minutes so it reduces to a nice like liquidy paste. But since we don't have 30 minutes, okay. we are just going to pop this straight into our blender with some soaked cashews. So you can pop with the soaked cashews. So this is what so cashews look like when they soak. They look kind of, yes. you know, like a little bit like a, like a mash almost. So yes. you can mash them up after they've been soaking. Yes, yes. So we soak them and then we mash them up a little bit. They go in here, right? Yes, they do. You can chuck that in there. Yummy. I hope you guys are playing along with us as well. Mm. If you're enjoying trying to take meat out of your, your diet on a Monday, Leo obviously has all these great suggestions when it comes to these recipes. You have so. to do me a favor and just scoop that in there. So we're oh. adding this beautiful mixture to the soaked mushy cashews because we want to make a lovely sauce for our butter chicken. I should probably be holding this pot. I'm sorry for making you do all the heavy work. Exactly. And I ran yesterday. I'm tired. It's a man-free man Monday as well. Besides meat free, it's man-free, okay? I should know when I come into this kitchen, I'm going to do all the work. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. We're going to pop it on there, and then we're going to just switch Lift it, it up. on. Yep, you can Which put it on. it on too? Yep. There we go. A little bit further. And... Five, you want it to be as creamy four. as possible, basically. So you really want it to be the creamiest texture you can make it. Two, three, and two, one, stop. There we go. Lift up, and we're going and to well. place this back in here. Okay. So basically, just to uh, recap for all of you to understand, like that's basically the base of your butter chicken. And yes. then we've got the perfectly good corn products here, which they've got as their chicken breast. So let's talk a bit about those, which have yes. been marinating, and then hoi and then we're done. Yeah, so like I said, these are completely meat-free. They're high in protein, low in fat, absolutely no cholesterol. They've got vegetarian and vegan options available at all the local retailers. And it's um, gluten-free, soy-free, Absolutely delicious. A great alternative for a Monday. Okay. And you make, mix those in there with the creaminess of it all, and you've got your perfect butter yeah. chicken. So you that'll have to cook down a bit. Yes, give that a little bit stir. It will cook down. You can also cut these up in little pieces okay. if you are going vegetarian. Okay. The vegan ones are already in little pieces. But don't pieces. worry. Obviously, because of the, the fact of TV, I know you guys want to make these recipes nice, quick, and easy. This is kind of what it will come out looking like in your pot. And then once you've dished it up, a delicious, delicious butter chicken curry that you're going to have either as a vegetarian or a vegan option. If you just tuned in, here's a quick recap of how to get these done. Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. 
<laughs> Welcome back. You know, I've just been reading comments on everybody's so excited to have Kat mm. in the loft with us. But they're also saying we look like brother and sister. That's a massive compliment yeah. to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, wow, really? I'm, I'm okay. taking this Thanks, compliment. Guys. I'm I'll, taking it. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, so just a few months ago, we saw our team Anga beat Team Siv in the final episode of Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles on SABC3. And now they're already shaping up for the next season, this time in the magical Maldives. Katla Khomabwe was recently announced as the new host. The seven celebrity contestants have been revealed and you at home could possibly join them on the island and win a share of a million rand. Gosh, and that's what we had to catch up on today. Yeah. yeah. So first yeah. of all, you know, like, you know, stranger to reality TV, obviously with Strictly Come Dancing, you also did obviously 50-50 and then Expresso. Is this a whole new exciting addition for you? Like, what excites you the most about this new gig? I think it certainly is because it's a new dynamic of reality TV, um, you know, where Strictly was studio-based. Yeah. Um, I guess you, you get a certain sense of reality TV on the Expresso studio with the live crew behind. Yeah. Yeah. You, but being on a beautiful tropical island, um, having fun, having the best time of your life, and then still doing what they call a job is mm. an absolutely amazing experience that I'm looking forward to. Uh, and especially to see how the contestants are going to get along. Yeah, Indeed. and having to coordinate all those big personalities. I yeah. mean, celebrities, part of being a celebrity means <laughs> you have a big personality. <laughs> Tell us some of the celebrities, the seven, who are selected. Yeah, I, I had one one interviews with them while we were doing the promo work, and man, massive personalities. Sure. I mean, Kanye Mkangisi is like... Yes. This. She's wow. Yeah. And then yeah. you can actually see her next to Anga, who won uh, season seven How of Tropic crazy, Island yeah. of Treasure. So maybe the good luck is rubbing off. I don't know. But yeah, obviously she started off her TV career uh, on the OTV, now doing great things like Isidungo. Of course, fitness bunny, Miss Instagram Sima, herself, yeah. Sabathin Pisani. Uh, she's also one of our contestants there. She's going to be, she told me that she is putting in some serious work in the gym to some make sure that she's physically, physically ready, ready yeah. for yeah. it all. Of course, Garabo Mokhane, uh, winner of Idols. He's, he's, he's the calmest one of the bunch oh, by he? far. When he speaks, he's just always within mm. himself. Um, and then, of course, Dumi Foster Dumi on Foster. 5FM. Yeah. She and, and Kanya are like peas in a pot. Live they're like, like this. Oh, they? Hold on. The selfies do not, not stop. stop. I oh, can no. tell you that. <laughs> what a picture of Name Maps, of course, known for his role um, on uh, Uzala, one of South Africa's biggest uh, yeah. shows. And shows, The yeah. man has, has singing talent. I don't know if you know this, but... Yeah, because he Maps sang when we like, had him for a cook yeah, he was well, amazing. Well, yeah. And, of course, singer-songwriter himself, Brendan Paper of Stopbach, Blay Nochebiki. He's bringing that big muscle factor. Whenever you ask people who are the most intimidated by, they look at that video and they're like, oh my word, exactly what is he going to do on the, on the show? And then Melinda, this bam! Lady. Melinda, bam! Bam! Bam, bam, bam! And she's uh, all about promoting all the, the, the female competitiveness and I cannot wait to see yeah, what she does for this year. Yeah, but for she's that. extraordinarily competitive. Yeah. And she's, she's a strong woman. Absolutely. And uh, she, she's also uh, looking forward to the challenge okay. of taking on everyone. And she's not, she's not intimidated by anyone. Mm. Absolutely. It's a nice balance. I mean, in terms of the contestants, so the show works uh, in, a, in, a, in, in a similar way. So you'll have a, a contestant that's a celebrity and then you have like a consumer contestant. So how do I become like a contestant with one of them? Well, it's yeah. actually very, very simple. All you have to do is uh, buy the newly uh, labeled Tropica pack. So you'll see they've okay. got the gold caps and they have the faces of the celebrities around them. And then you just simply follow those instructions on the pack. And once, once you've done that and gone through the registration process, the most important thing is for you to come through to the audience. Auditions and they're going to be what there? three. I'll tell you about that. But first, there's three auditions that are going to uh. be taking place. It's going to be Cape Town, Durban, and Johannesburg. Cool. Awesome. So um, it's going to be on the 30th uh, of September in Cape Town at Cavendish Square. Then the 7th of October in um, Umklanga at, at Gateway in Durban. And then the 14th of October, it's going to be at Rosebank um, okay. in Whoa. Johannesburg. So you make sure that you're there. Though, like, to come it's going like to be lit. Yeah, you it, have to it, be it, like saucy. Like what no, I have to do? What you got to do is, I mean, obviously this is a TV show, so we want people with personality mm. that can yeah. shine on camera. And besides, this is an opportunity yeah. for somebody out there to really show that they can be a star while enjoying themselves uh, too. And so win half a million rand. And win half a million rand. <laughs> I mean, it's a smooth price. And you have to be fit, obviously. Look, yeah, fitness is yeah. a part of it, but of course, there's mental challenges too. Yes. So expect to be balanced in your team. Whoever that, you, that you're thinking about teaming up with yeah. has to be uh, balancing out, let's say, your weaker uh, side. So yeah, if you're true. more physical, yeah, then yeah. get somebody who's a bit more inclined to, to win at the, at the puzzle games or the I mental games. I love the Maldives. Your guys, can I we just... Some time here Take and it's look. absolutely gorgeous. It was, it was absolutely, yeah. it's like that picture perfect postcard moment that you've always dreamt of, yes. but even like 10,000 times better, better because it's in real life. The absolutely. sand just, just exfoliates yeah. your mm -hmm. feet as you walk, the water's <laughs> always warm. 
even when there's clouds in the sky, it's just absolutely beautiful mm. to be there. Sure. Well, go forth and prosper, my friend. I can't oh, wait for the season. Yeah. I hope it's going to be like there are going to be slight nuances and twists from uh, the previous season. I hear there are going to be some changes. There certainly and twists. will be. The, the team is working mm. super hard behind the scenes to make okay. this one of the most exciting seasons we've ever had. Right. And uh, so come through to the auditions. Um, we're going to have uh, some of the celebrities there. I'll be there at the auditions, kind of bringing the fun into it as well. So Good stuff. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, you can't. Oh, come on. Burst my bubble right at the end there. Why yeah. not? <laughs> now listen, while we're on the topic of challenges, we're going to be having a bit of a challenge later on in the show challenge. to see if Kat is what? as sharp as the contestants they are looking for. Now if you missed any of those audition <laughs> details, here's another, another look. look. Dreaming of prizes, fame and fortune? It's now your chance of a lifetime to join your favourite celebrities in paradise and become famous like them on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Plus, a chance to win a shared smooth 1 million rand. Buy Tropica, enter and come to the auditions on Saturday the 30th of September at Cavendish Square, Cape Town. 7th of October at Gateway, Durban. Or 14th of October at The Zone, Johannesburg. Grab a Tropica for details. There's nothing smoother. A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express on this glorious Monday afternoon. We hope you're having a great time with us on the show today. Now listen, Chef James Dyack and, uh, is a proud owner of his rescue pitbull Roxy and he's known for his farm-to-table style restaurants in Johannesburg. And we're going to get cooking with him in just a bit on the show. His food philosophy is all around fresh and locally sourced ingredients and he translates this food philosophy into what he feeds his Roxy too. With the same focus on quality ingredients, simple and natural recipes that any chef or cook puts into their wholesome meals, your dog gets the same quality and focus on the nutrients that their gourmet meaty meals made by Petleys does. Take a look. My name is Chef James Dyke and this is my dog Roxy. I'm chef patron of three sustainable restaurants in Johannesburg. 
We believe in ethical, sustainable and provenance food. Provenance meaning that we know exactly where all our products come from. We took it to the next level by investing in our own farm and going organic. We did this because of our absolute passion for the ingredients that we do cook and serve. And when you've got a quality ingredient, you don't have to overthink it or overcook it. It's simple cooking techniques which then champions the ingredients which has led to our food style through all three of our restaurants. It's about quality, love, and then respect for your ingredient. I believe this is how my family should eat, and Roxy is our family. The meals that we're serving her are equally as nutritious for her and beneficial to her health. Roxy is a rescue, and we've decided to go with the food that she too enjoys, but only enjoys is nutritious for her and beneficial to her health. Petleys, meaty meals for all. Oh, she is so adorable. Man, Roxy must have been such a blessing in your life, right? Yeah, no, she's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. She's a, she's a rescue pup that we got about three years ago, and she's just uh -huh. grown more and more and more as we've sort of she's as we've yeah. had her you know she looks like such a beautiful personality she got so much so much uh, to her and obviously having a chef as a father must make it very hard to go and obviously find really good food but you managed to do that so what are we making on the show today so what we're doing is a uh, one of the dishes from my restaurants it's our organic uh, free range chicken cocovan which cocovan uh, and it's a uh, it's a nice slow cooked meal but what we've done bef just before we came on was we've sealed off most of the ingredients and what we're yeah. going to do now is seal off the chicken then show you how to assemble it and it's a Stunning. lovely family meal let's do it fantastic so how do we start off with this guy? So all we've done is we've, uh, we've just dusted our free range chicken in some, uh, some flour, some salt, some pepper. Cool. Get in, uh, and in the, in, in the pot itself is the, is the oil that we've sealed everything off. So you get all the flavors coming together. So what we do is we, um, we, 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 drop, the we drop the chicken in Lovely. there, na nice and hot uh, sort of br to brown off the chicken nice and quickly. Okay. Um, You've mentioned free range obviously is a big thing of yours. I mean, do you obviously apply the same philosophy to your relationship with Roxy? Like, do you always make sure that she's eating the right kinds of good quality um, meals like you like to make? Yeah, with Roxy being a rescue and having a bit of a tough start to life, what we, we always try and show that she gets the best. And, uh, and be, the best being what we, we know, we want to know what's in her food. Yeah. Just the same way as we eat at home and myself and my wife are quite picky about what we eat and where we eat from, mostly obviously off the farms of supplies my restaurants. And so, and, but we obviously can't cook Roxy a, a meal every single day. So what we have done is we've tried to find a suitable substitute and, and we found that Petleys has really done her well. She is, a, she is an older dog. Yeah. Um, she did live in a rescue for five years at uh, the Pitbull Rescue Lovable that we got her from. And so we really have strained to give her the best. And that's, uh, that's where we've sort of gone it. about it. Right, so obviously you've got your chicken in there that's busy browning off now at the moment. What happens next? Exactly. So what we're going to do is we roast some garlic. Um, we, we poach our garlic in a little bit of milk and then we roast it off. Uh, just give it a bit more of a sweetness than your normal garlicky flavour. Stunning. Um, we drop in some, uh, some, so, some bacon. It's, uh, we use wobble bacon that we uh, make ourselves in the restaurants. Delicious. Mix. That brings all that nice yeah. saltiness and that mmm. You know that mmm that you get from your recipes? Exactly. Comes from that. Um, we, then, uh, we, we then just drop in a little, little bit of tomato paste just for, for a little bit of richness. Um, okay. In tomato season, we do make our own tomato paste at the farm. Otherwise, we do, we, we do, do find a suitable alternative when, when, when uh, out of season. Um, just some beautiful red onions, which we, uh, we browned off earlier, which added to the flavor sort of of the pan. Okay, cool. So all your onions go in there, which is also obviously a lot of that flavor. It's the base of any of these kinds of yeah, recipes. Yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all about la layering the dish. So yeah. it's just the more, more you can get into the pot with the beautiful flavor of the chicken. Is where, where we're kind of going with it. Um, we we do, we're using some baby onions today, but uh, usually we use some. We can if we can get some fresh shallots. It is a okay, way to go. Cool. Much That's easier. Less onion and a little bit sweeter. And then what we do is we bomb in some wine. Um, we use we use white wine. Um, also, if a little bit if you want it for winter, um, you can you use a red. little bit mm. of red, a little bit of richer. But and we just obviously changes the color then of the recipe. So exactly, yeah, and then we also just add a little bit of sherry. Yeah. Um, so the, the drier the sherry, the Ooh. better. You don't want it too sweet. No, I'm not sniffing the alcohol, everybody. Calm down, all right? I'm just sniffing all the flavors. It smells amazing. Well, that combination of that sweetness from the sherry and, and that wine, that tartness of the wine is yummy. Exactly. And, and then just a little bit of chicken stock. And then what we do is we just seal it up, put it, to the, put it on the stove and you know, so forget about it. And then ta-da, mm. it comes out looking something like the one we've got over here. Exactly. Delicious. Um, we, we played it with a little bit of, little bit of uh, mash, some uh, organic broccoli and some grilled oyster mushrooms. So, so re just really, really simple food, and I think, I think what we try and work towards, and what I think where Petleys has got, it's just a nice, 
honest meal. Okay, it's I just, love it's, it. it's, yeah. it's just, it's honest food that's good for you, fills the stomach, and yeah. makes you healthy. You know what's in there? It's, you know that it's going to be healthy for you too. So let's dish up. Let's put awesome. it up. I know ever all of Fantastic. our guests, uh, Kat, I know Bonnie, and myself are the biggest foodies in the world. We love trying out new places all the time. So I'm glad that we've got a restaurant chef with us in the loft today. Exactly. Thank and I you. hope that your relationship with Roxy continues to grow. She sounds like a beautiful dog. Oh, she's a wonderful animal. And awesome. you know, I, I think the most amazing thing is the work that people are doing out there. Yeah. Okay. To, to rescue these animals. Ah, oh, stunning. Now listen guys, if you have any adorable pups at home, it is so, so important that you feed them with the same quality and love that you would yourself. And that's why Petleys ensures that your beloved pets can enjoy a tasty meal with up to 40% really meaty goodness. And as a special treat, Petleys are giving you the chance to win an incredible hamper for your pet. This hamper includes everything from a dog teepee to a collar and lead and 16 tins of Petleys dog food. To win, head over to the Afternoon Express Facebook page and tell us which Petleys meaty meal is your dog's favorite. The competition closes on the 29th of September and the terms and conditions can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. James, this is looking amazing. I know I'm going to talk into that a little bit later on. You've got a very lucky dog to have a, sh like a, a caring father like yourself. Thank you so much for having us, Tatania, today. I really appreciate it. Like a, awesome. on to Thank the you. meals we go on Afternoon Express. Oh my goodness, why does, why does that chicken look so good? I've had to double up on my gym hours from working on the show. There's no denying that living in an estate is the way to go or the dream lifestyle for many South African families. Because of the expansive development of estates around the country, homeowners have great choices in up and coming suburbs where one can relax, feel safe and truly live well. Finding amazing properties in these locations is easy with private property and they've noticed a growing trend in families seeking a glorious coastal life in Guazulu Natal. For many, the search for a dream home begins at private property. The website boasts a wide variety of estate property, including sought-after options on KwaZulu Natal's spectacular Dolphin Coast. Just north of Belito are kilometers of spectacular, unspoiled beaches that can be enjoyed by those that call this place home. My name is Brett Rue. I'm a born and bred Natalian. After 10 years in Cape Town in the fitness industry, particularly doing some modeling work, I took that passion and my love for wellness and I moved to KwaZulu Natal and I started a wellness cafe and a yoga studio. Yeah, I think the most important thing is to do something that you're passionate about and something that's going to add value to society. And, and with that, we've been lucky enough to now get Belito Junction, which is a really, really awesome shopping center. From a wellness cafe point of view, uh, teaching people and showing people how to eat healthily and most importantly, though, how to eat delicious food that is nutritious has been really part of our greater goal. Belito is a fast-growing little metropolitan in itself. Uh, Belito also is particularly close. People say it's three songs to the airport. So from a logistics point of view, it's an incredible place to live, exceptionally convenient, making our lifestyle that much easier. Being an avid surfer, we're really blessed to have these incredible spots littered along the north coast and south coast that we can come explore and find lots of little hidden waves. You'll often be the only person in the ocean. You'll find yourself out in the lineup surrounded by dolphin, whales, little turtles and mother nature and surfing is a holistic thing as opposed to just doing a sport. Myself and my wife, uh, often with our little boy Rowan, will leash up the Frenchies and head on to the beach and let them run and we'll have a little bit of a time out as a family and, and yeah, we're really lucky out here because we have uh, endless opportunities to find beautiful little spots to do such things. When looking for a place to reside, it was a really easy decision to choose Palm Lake's family estate and make that our home. There are countless reasons why so many choose Palm Lake's family estate as their home. But having a top school within the estate is a major one. Trinity House offers some of the highest quality education, coupled with convenience and peace of mind for parents. My name is Ayanda. I've been a resident in Palm Lake's Estates for the past three years. I was looking around for a better school to offer better education for my two daughters. I found out that Trinity House Palm Lakes was my best choice. What impressed me about Trinity House Palm Lakes, uh, they have wonderful facilities, they offer the very best education, and I'm confident that my children are in good hands. Having a school bus is really of convenience for me because sometimes I have hectic days, but I'm rest assured that all my children are dropped right at the front door after school. 
What I love about the estates, it's the safety, a wonderful lifestyle, because you know when I come back from work, sometimes I'll just go to our track on Fly Clubhouse, which is a restaurant, has got a pool and a bar. This is not just a, a normal pool, it's got slides on it where the children really enjoy swimming there for a very long time. And I usually enjoy the sundowner cocktails whilst we just chill and talk and get to know one another while still minding the children. The reason why I call Pamlex Estate a family estate is because it also caters for the little ones because we have a prestige baby academy on site. Parents can just drop off their little ones and they get to learn and play the whole day being looked after by professionals. What I love about the estate is that the children have got a really active outdoor life where they can play with their skateboards, they can cycle. We have uh, walking and cycling trails. I enjoy the afternoon walks and I love the nature around the estate here. We also have the wildlife which makes this a number one estate really. Palm Lake's family estate is exactly that, an estate offering something for the whole family. The lifestyle facilities include a lap pool with sun lounges and a jungle gym for the kids, as well as an astroturf court that allows hours of active play in a safe environment. Tennis courts are available at the school as part of a reciprocal agreement to all residents and golf enthusiasts can practice their swing at the adjoining driving range. No wonder why there is so much demand for property at this estate. My name is Lekki John. I've been living in the North Coast for the past 15 years and been in the real estate industry for the past five years. The properties that are available within the estate are starting from sectional titles, full titles and vacant lands and the retirement home. Retirement Village offers an upmarket retirement homes which consists of 500 units. Within the Retirement Village there is an on-site clinic that offers health services to the retirees. The people that buy into the estate are young and up and coming um, young professionals right down to the retirees. The prices for the sectional titles are ranging from 1.6 million for a two bedroom apartment with one bathroom and the highest range would be up to five million for a full title. Palm Lakes is positioned in the north coast of KZN and it's just under 10 minutes to Belito and less than 15 minutes to the Kinshaka International Airport. So that is really convenient for everyone who would like to raise a family in their state. There's something magical about being able to enjoy an active outdoors lifestyle surrounded by spectacular nature every day. And that's exactly the quality of life that this estate affords. If you're looking for exceptional education for your children and a safe and engaging environment for your family, then Palm Lakes Family Estate should be top of your list. To find your dream home in this little piece of paradise, visit privateproperty.co.za. There's a home for everyone on private property. Wow, can we just take a moment for those sunsets? It's one of those times you want to just take out your phone and take a selfie with those in the background. And now while you've got your phones out and hopefully taking photos of those sunsets, there's lots of fun coming up after the break on Afternoon Express. We're back with the host of Tropica Island of Treasure, Maldives, Katlejo Mambue. And here's a little surprise plan for us that you're going to be tweeting about using that hashtag Afternoon Express. So you don't go anywhere.
welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now the moment we've all been looking forward to for the entire show when <laughs> my two co-hosts for the day battle it out with a couple of Tropicas and you'll find out how. Oh. On Tropica Island of Treasure, teams compete against each other in various challenges and can ultimately win a shared million rand. As the host of the show, Katla Khomabwe won't be taking part in the challenges, so we've set up a little something something for him now. <laughs> He'll be going up against Danilo in a tic-tac-toe bottle flip off it works like this so cat and danilo will start oh. by pouring out just the right amount of liquid from their tropica bottles then one bottle at a time they have to flip the bottle 360 degrees and try to land it in one of the blocks of uh, these big uh grids three by three grids, grid. yeah. yeah and once they land it the bottle stays there yeah. and then they have to then try ha land the second and the third bottle as well so that you actually what? get three in a row. Oh my Either word. vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. <laughs> and the first person to do this is the winner. Oh and if you gosh. knock over one of your landed bottles, that bottle no longer counts. Okay, right. No longer counts. All right. And then uh, you have to try again. So we're throwing in a slender twist uh -huh. for the first bottle that you have to empty half of. Instead yes. of pouring out the liquid, you have to drink the amount you think is necessary. Oh no, so there's like a mathematical <laughs> equation for this absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> this is crazy. But to start off, you have to stand um, back. Okay, so okay. pick a bottle. So we start with these drink. first, okay. Drink can as I, much as you think pineapple? you need to drink, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So, can, I, can I go now? Yeah. How does All it work? Right. So you have to pour it out. Why is he drinking his? You have to drink the first bottle. Because that's the slender oh, twist. No. Why is that <laughs> the slender? Why is he drinking his? Come. Mm -hmm. That's a slender twist. Is that enough? Do you Mine's think that your bottle's going to be fine to throw? I don't know, wait, now. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Cats are still going. I think I'm Cats still can I go? Can I go? So. Yeah, you can what go. What do you mean? Okay, so is he going to go first? No, we just we go. go. You, you just go. Cool. go. You just got to go. Oh, come on, boy. Keep, keep okay. Do this. Wow. No, this is too hard. This <laughs> game is ridiculous. For half a million, I, I think it's going to work a lot I don't know if you emptied it enough as well. Oh, yes, yes Whoa, baby. Whoa, at the same time. Well done, guys. This one doesn't need to be emptied. Okay, Cat has oh. his first one down. Um, He's pouring his into a cup. So does Danilo. Oh. Almost, almost, Ooh. almost. They're both working on their second one. Oh, Come on! Danilo has not so emptied his second one. That's probably why it's not working. Wait, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Try and empty it out, try and empty it out. Yes, I got this, I got this. Quite a tough game. We're not competitive yes. at all. Okay, listen, does this count? 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 Yeah, I think it does. We're still in the block. Okay, does mine count? If I get that corner? Yeah, it does count. Wow, guys, okay. This is not bad. I didn't see you doing this well, neither of you. Come on! <laughs> oh! That was no. close. That was close. So they both no, have two down on the grid. No! Each it's have one block. to go. Each He's have one to one. go. Come on. One to go. Oh! Okay, oh almost. my gosh! Oh my Why gosh! Why does mine keep flying almost. over the edge? Ah! Oh. oh no! Oh. I'm gonna get there. Bonnie, I'm, I'm not gonna let you down. You Come guys on, are so boy. competitive. Come on, You're my so boy! So competitive. I love it. Come on, my boy! Smell the That's too empty. That's oh, too empty. No. It's not going to land. How do I put more in? You need to pour it back did you, in, did Dan. Did you pour it back? Yes, yeah, I poured more out. Come on. Come on, Dan. Oh, oh yes! No! We have a Get winner! In there, my son. Get in there, my son! <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I'll give it. I'll <laughs> give it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> We can't right, wait right. for Tropica right. Island of Treasure where Kat will be putting the celebrities and viewer contestants through their paces on at the Maldives. And if you want in <sighs> on the action, that make sure that you get an audition. Go to the auditions. We'll be right back. I'll drink this. <laughs> Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3. Now, if the idea of indulging in an evening of food and spices from around the world excites you, then we have you covered. Robertson Spices is inviting you to take your seat at the world's finest pop-up restaurant that changes everything every day. From the 21st to the 25th of September, you are invited to experience a world of flavors at Mulrose Arch in Johannesburg, uh, where every day will be themed with a new country, new chef, new menu, new decor, and even a new name. It is literally the only pop-up in the world to reinvent wow. itself every single day. We're giving four viewers the chance to win double tickets for one of the nights, and all you have to do is SMS Robertsons to 33650 to win. You can also purchase your tickets uh, to this unique event at discover more at robertsons.co.za. This is a once-in-a-lifetime culinary experience, courtesy of the Spice people. To enter now and and uh, remember that the terms and conditions do apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Wow, that sounds like an How extraordinary cool. event. Yeah. And listen, even wow. though you beat me, mm. we still feed the winner, right? Thank you. I appreciate no that. No sore losers. Yeah. The meals here are always delicious. Was that fun? It was a lot of fun. Just getting yourself into that zone of that what it's going to be like when you're competing. Mode. If only there was a half a million rand up for grabs now. Yeah, right? exactly. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a million rand for me. Yeah. A million rand for me. <laughs> Trust me, I would not be feeding you after this show. <laughs> listen, a quick reminder, how do I get the auditions in for if I want to be a contestant? Mm -hmm. How do I do all of this? Well, it's very, very easy. So you're going to go and buy a Tropica and it could be either the specially marked uh, gold capped uh, tropicas that have the celebrity spaces around them, or if you're going to get the bigger one, the one liter, it has a sticker there that shows that it's uh, specially marked for the Tropic Island of Treasure. And then what you do is follow the instructions on the pack and then make sure that you make it through to the auditions. We're going to have an audition in Cape Town on the 30th of September at Cavendish Square, and then we're going to Gateway in Umslanga in Durban on the 7th of October, and then we're going to Rosebank in Johannesburg at the Zone on the 17th, the 14th okay. rather, of uh, October. So and that's the only way to get on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, get there, bring your A-game, bring through. your it's going to be lit. It's yeah, gonna bring be lit. your rah rawness. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you can only enter by going to one of these auditions. So don't miss the day. Book those dates off your yeah. diary now. Yeah, get the tropics, go to the auditions, get there. We'll be there. Some of these celebrities and will be there. And people also. audition and get to meet you. That too. We can take yeah, loads and loads bonus, of selfies. Loads of Epic. Stuff. Listen, dish up, eat your food. Thank Which you. are you going to go Where do we even start? Vegetarian, vegan, butter chicken, or you can go for, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's, it's uh, like a chicken, bourgeois. Oh, it's gonna, a French oh, name. Coco vent. Well done. Oh, is that it? Yes, coco vent. Okay. I'm going to climb into this broccoli because I heard that nice. it, it's you what were gets in your the kitchen and you didn't know what it was called. Your abs ripped and I'm trying to get ripped for tropical. Are you trying to get ripped? I'm I'm trying to get seriously you know, ripped. I'm like, just trying ripped. to get ripped for summer. Just <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. Thank we'll you. see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you, Kat. It's been so so nice. Thank good you. night everybody and Bye -bye. happy eating. Have a great Monday and a good Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Join the Afternoon Express cook along tomorrow as we get put through our paces by celebrity chef Pete Goff Wood. Head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the recipe and shopping list and make your dinner along with us live on air. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Afternoon Express. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.